Hi everybody, Emily here for Hip Kit Club. Today I'm sharing with you a, a Traveler's Notebook spread that I created using only the uh, main kit from the May Hip Kit Club collections. Um, I used a photo booth at style photo strip. Um, I like to always have at least one cohesive um, touch in any kind of notebook or mini album that um, I create. And in these notebooks, I decided to have uh, all my photos made with these uh, photo uh, booth strips. It simply allow the notebook to be cohesive from start to finish, even though I will use different paper collections, different color scheme, uh, or um, anything that doesn't uh, correlate from one page to the next. At least we've got that constant uh, photo format that really helped tie it all up together. I decided to use the B side of the stencil paper by the stamp market. It's that uh, blue bold, navy blue bold pattern paper, which I absolutely adore. And uh, once I've trimmed it to size to fit my uh, traveler's notebook, I stick it down with the wall sided sticker tape. And then I use a uh, corner punch to round the corners, uh, just as the corners of my notebooks are. Now that I have my pattern paper page that is sorted, uh, I always like to have at least one layer uh, pattern paper page. Um, I'm starting to uh, fussy cut some roses from the Pink Paisley Fifth and Monaco collection. It turns out that you will see later I will not use these flowers but at this moment in time with uh, my notebook spread I know that I want to use flowers and I know I want to use those uh, colors with that blue. So um, I'm fussy cutting these, but you'll see later on, I will not be using them on this spread. However, it's never lost. Um, I'll more than likely, I'm gonna use them on another layout or any other project in the future. So this is the point where I'm starting to realise that these flowers are not going to work with uh, my spreads for the effect that I want to create. Um, they simply are too small and if I want to really have the effect I want on this, I would need to have a hell of a lot of flowers and that would distract from the general design I want to go for, especially with a traveller's notebook, usually it's better if you keep it fairly simple. Uh, so I'm going through uh, some of the Vicky Boutine's ephemeras and I had kept in there some bigger flowers that I had fussy cut previously for another one of the project and that I hadn't got around to using. So I love the effect they, uh, they give to uh, this uh, blue pattern paper. I love how it works together. And in order to use it in a traveler's notebook, I cut this one in half where the fold uh, will fall simply to help my notebook to still be able to fold and um, to close in the future. I am then gluing it down, lining the cut perfectly with the fold of my notebook.
I am absolutely loving how this look and I decide to add a little tiny bit more uh, detail well it's not tiny but um, I'm deciding to use another one of the big flowers just to uh, give it that um, effect of maybe um, a flower bouquet or a flower uh, bush or something and um, to create a little bit of volume I use some double-sided sticky foam pads underneath this flower uh, this obviously add volume to the notebook so my notebook is uh, quite bulky but I'm okay with it and um, it works just fine for me I'm still trying to see if I can make those little flower works, but I very quickly uh, give up on the little pink parsley flowers. Um, I am now looking at a few of the ephemeras and starting to look at the title. I love that little word every day and I decide to go for the love out of the pattern paper from the stamp uh, market. Um, simply because my title is going to be love every day these photos are representative of everyday life there is nothing special as such about it it's just a photo that i snapped very quickly of sophia and me on a sofa um having a, a little bit of a cuddly relaxing moment um it's uh, yeah there's nothing uh, there's it's not an event it's not um uh, a special moment it's just well it is a special moment but it's not uh, something that is out of the ordinary and yeah I just wanted to record it and have it as yeah I love this everyday life that we have I am mounting my photo strip on double sided stick foam pads to add even more volume and then I am cutting the everyday title where the fold of the notebook uh, falls uh, simply just like I did with the flowers it helps it uh, it helps me close the notebook in the future and keep it as a notebook um, I'm mounting the left hand side of the title onto double sided sticky foam pads. Um, I'm using two layers of sticky foam pads because I've used one layer under the photo and I want still the title to be slightly more raised than uh, the photo. So I use two layers on that. Uh, but because my title falls onto the crystal of the notebook, I decided to only use one layer of sticky foam pads on the second part of the title, of the second part of the of the wording, and you can't notice it when it's open. It's not visible, but it removes uh, the extra unnecessary uh, volume that could potentially uh, stop the notebook from uh, closing. I am now also adding some double sided sticky foam pads underneath the word love still to have uh, volume I love volume I love sticky foam pads um, I use them on every single one of my layouts and um, I absolutely adore the effect it gives so yeah I've got a bit of an addiction there <laughs> I 
I am now at the point where I start to add the little tiny touches of decoration around my page and um, I love the little banner strips from the Pink Paisley Fifth Monaco uh, sticker sheets and I decided to use them with uh, same again, double sided sticky foam pads, Addiction and I placed them between the words, I'm trying to fill in some of the gaps and yeah I'm placing stickers all around my layout. Uh, I decided to use the Always, so Always Love uh, every day but also I'm using the uh, other little uh, banner uh, between the love and the every day and it says today so I always love today every day so yeah every day I love today <laughs> so uh, I thought that'll work I don't know if it's really English but it works for me so <laughs> yeah and now I'm adding the uh, extra little bits and bobs of uh, of details around. Uh, I'm creating a uh, visual triangle with the little circles. So I've got two on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. The one on the left has that same coral color as the flowers and that repeats and balance the color that is so heavily coral on the right hand side. Um, I'm repeating it and balancing it on the left hand side of uh, my photograph, trying to um, make it all work together um, i'm also adding uh, some stickers around the layout to really try and, and balance it all but add a little bit of interest and detail I wanted a part of the flower to stick out a little bit on the left hand side of the photo and I decided to use this leaf that I had cut out earlier on in the process uh, and to stick it out on the left hand side of the photo underneath that um, sticker and it really helps uh, making the photo part visually of the flowers. I think it really makes it work all together. I am also adding these slightly darker shades of green sticker uh, at the bottom of the red circle simply because it repeats the green from the leaves of the flowers. At this point I'm very happy with my spread, I am I know I'm touching towards the end but it's still missing a tiny little detail and I'm adding a few gems uh, around it to add maybe a little bit of uh, glitz uh, and I'm still not quite satisfied, I'm still not quite happy that this is finished so I decided to go with some India ink, you will see in a minute uh, to add a few tiny bit of droplets of black uh, onto the white background because I thought that the white background was a little tiny bit too clean for me and for my style. So just very very carefully add a few tiny bit of black drops and straight away this makes it for me and I'm very happy. And here is my finished project. I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you did please like, leave a comment and you can follow the, the channel, uh, that would be great. Thank you very much for watching, bye!